how noisy is this? Today, we are going to talk about microclimates and compare the noisy area in a city junction with the quiet city park. All we need is the lab disk with its three built-in sensors, temperature, humidity, and the GPS. We will set the lab disk to record these three sensors and simply walk from this point to the park. Let's program the lab disk in the field. We'll go to the lab disk menu, select the sensor setup. Here we can select the sensors, the sample rate, and the amount of samples we are going to take during this recording. In the sensors we have selected temperature, humidity, and GPS. Using the GPS will allow us to put the sensor data on Google Map. Sampling rate, we will select one sample per second and take a total of 1,000 samples. This is the GPS coordinates. This shows us exactly where we are on our planet. All we need to do is to press the run button, we'll start recording and we are ready to go. We'll place the lab disk in the bag with a special ventilation net allowing the sensor to fill the environment. Okay, follow me. What a relief! We are in the park, you can really feel the difference. The temperature is a bit lower and the humidity is a bit higher. It's all because of the grass. It evaporates water, taking the heat from the environment. Ah, I should do this more often. Okay, now let's download the data. We have our iPad here. We communicate wirelessly with the lab disk so we can simply download the data. You can clearly see the graphs of the temperature and the humidity. This is the data we have collected along the way from the city junction to the park. As you can see, the temperature in the city junction was 30.48 degrees Celsius, while in the park it went down to 28.4. This is two degrees difference, which is amazing for just 400 meters of walk. The humidity started at 67% in the city junction, went up to 74.6, due to evaporations of the grass. We can also see a table of all the data we have collected. You can see the humidity, you can see the temperature, but also you can see the GPS data, longitude, latitude, speed and angle. But even more impressive is the map view. As we have a GPS, we can plot all the data we have collected over Google Map. Look here, this is the park. This here is the junction. You can even see our walking speed from the city junction to the park. As you can see, it was four kilometers per hour. Let's see the temperature. In the junction, you can see it's red because the temperature is high, 30.1 or 30.5. When we walk to the park, the temperature went down to 28.7. Look how beautiful this is much better than just a graph because it tells the full story of what we did. The same goes with humidity. In the junction and in the park. Now you can see that the parks are not important for producing oxygen for the city, but they also cool the city in hot summer days. We all know that the parks and the trees play an important role in reducing the pollution in our environment. But as we just learned, they also create microclimates which help cool our cities. Now, after all that walking and analysis, I think I deserve a rest. <laughs>